This next story comes from the Gateway Pundit, which is a very interesting website, but they did a good article on this one uh, today. They're talking specifically about this fellow by the name of John Earl Sullivan. And this was a guy, he actually looks like this, who was a part of the Capitol Hill riots. Remember, he was sort of dressed up in Trump gear, and I think this was one of his mug shots, and this is what he put on, and they were there. And it, a lot of the groups are, are disavowing this guy now. People are trying to figure out who is he a part of. Is he part of Antifa? Is he part of BLM? But apparently, according to the Gateway Pundit and one of their reporters, they say he's an insurgents leader. He was arrested in Utah, and we talked about his case after the U.S. Capitol riots. As previously reported by, the, by Antifa protester, he was caught on video posing as a Trump supporter during the rioting at the Capitol on January 6th. And so we're going to go through some of this article. They're basically pulling from other websites, but they had the documents. So I got the documents from them. So I wanted to give them credit for this. And here is what the Gateway Pundit says. Footage obtained by the Gateway Pundit from militant Black Lives Matter and Antifa activist John Sullivan's Discord server shows so-called civil rights activists reveling inside the U.S. Capitol as he damaged federal property. He has maintained in multiple interviews that he regularly attends protests protests only to record what's going on, but did not actively partake in the insurgents in Washington. That's a lie. He's the leader of the Utah Antifa BLM movement, and he has previously been arrested. He organized an Antifa insurgents rally on January 6th at the Washington Monument at 11 a.m. Before they stormed the Capitol, the mainstream media refuses to report these facts. On Tuesday, political reporter Kyle Cheney reported that John Sullivan was paid $35,000 from both CNN and NBC for his footage inside the U.S. Capitol on January Six And so Kyle Cheney then, he says, these are the invoices filed with the court today. And you'll look here, you'll see this document filed yesterday on February 16th, page two of four. It is a non-exclusive license agreement. The licensor is John Sullivan. So he's the one who has the, the video footage that he wants to make available. He says this agreement is entered on January 6th. So the same day that it happened between the licensor, which is John Sullivan and the cable news network or CNN. CNN is entering into a contract with an insurrectionist, allegedly, right? Grant of rights for $35,000, the receipt and sufficiency of which are hereby acknowledged. Here's what they're going to be getting. Quote, the eyewitness video of the shooting at Capitol Hill on 1-6-2021, collectively known as the materials. They can do whatever they want with those things, and they're granted usage rights starting on January 6th. Goes further, licensor represents, warrants to CNN that they've got full legal right, power. In other words, John Earl Sullivan has the ability to transfer this stuff, and he's doing so. Signed off on here by John Sullivan, governed by the laws of the state of Georgia. All right. They're going to hold harmless CNN. So CNN paid thirty-five grand for his footage. NBC did too. Here's NBC's. NBC Universal says uh, this is another one filed. So an ACH payment has been initiated from NBC UACH notification at NBCUni.com. So notification of an ACH deposit. It's a bank transfer. It's a wire transfer, right? It says the vendor ID. We got John Earl Sullivan. We got the last four digits of his bank account number. Guess what? Another $35,000. NBC Universal invoice date, 35 grand. Another 35 grand. Guy made 70 grand from his footage and NBC and CNN paid him 35 a pop for that. Is that curious? Is that just me? Am I just curious about this? Taylor Hansen, a Gateway Pundit contributor who also was, was also at the Capitol Hill protest. Taylor is an actual videographer and reporter, unlike John Sullivan, who is an organizer. Taylor told us, quote, this raises serious red flags. Taylor told us that the average beat reporter and videographer makes $300 to $1,000 for coverage from an event like the U.S. Capitol riots. Sullivan made thirty-five grand for his coverage. He said, within... With over six months of experience as an independent journalist, which actually isn't that much, right? I have captured some of the most viewed and circulated media content on the internet. I have never made over $1,000 on an individual video. The highest I've ever seen a news source pay for breaking news footage is three grand. John Sullivan being paid 35 grand by CNN and NBC for one event is criminal, he said. Well, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with that. An average paid journalist out of Utah makes 3000 a month, not 75000 in a matter of days. Well, that doesn't matter. Let's not forget that John has always been an Antifa and BLM organizer. He was never reported in journalistic capacity. Even while reporting, he's seen breaking a window, telling people he has a knife to get in front of the crowded hallway. And he's heard saying, let's burn this S down, which we've covered. We talked about John. We talked about his whole case. I think we went through his entire arrest warrant and all of uh, all of the, uh, the the original charging documents. John Sullivan is not, has never been a journalist. He's a vowed BLM supporter. There's something nefarious going on here. I intend to find out what it is. So, you know, 
I'm not a journalist either, but that sounds like a pretty nice payday, right? $75,000. Certainly he can use that to afford a good defense attorney, which he is of course going to be needing because he is now under, I think, federal indictment. So uh, interesting story there. You know, I don't know if there's anything more nefarious going on. You know, it was a sort of once in a lifetime event. So I can understand paying more than a thousand or 3000, but $35,000 for that. Wow. That is interesting. Isn't that interesting? 